shit. Burr, hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Sammy. At least, yeah, that's the last time I checked. I know you're probably looking at this. It is a bruise. I've been having some skin issues. Mind your beeswax, I'm okay. But if you're looking at this, you're not focusing on my pretty face. So today's gonna be a little bit of a surprise. It's kind of overdue, maybe it might not be, but it's the this many installment of my sneaker collection. I get asked all the time about my kicks. I recently took a break from social media and when I came back from my hiatus, I had four brand new pairs of kicks waiting for me because I like to keep things organized and make sure that even when I'm not here, the kicks are getting purchased. Welcome back to New York, I swear. So I'm not gonna show you all four of the new pairs. I'm gonna mix and match and show you some of my oldies and my newies and my goodies and my, I couldn't think of anything else that rhymes. But before I get into these kicks, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you're already subscribed to my channel because if you aren't, you're just as bad as the motorcycles outside. And we know that I loathe them entirely. Do you like my makeup? Do you want a tutorial? Cause I might have one already. If you wanna see this makeup look and how I got it, like the video and put a comment of a sneaker and a lipstick. So this way I know that you watched the whole sneaker video and then you wanna see the makeup. It makes sense to me. Don't disappoint me and don't hurt my feelings. I've dealt with a lot of disappointment as of lately and I don't deserve any more extra unnecessary disappointment. Oh, these titties. Oh, my back hurts. To the girls who have small perky boobs, shout out to y'all, I'm jelly. All right, let's get into these kicks. Now I know what you're probably thinking because I have all the sneakers directly here in front of me. Yep. I got a mess. Don't look at my mess. I know what you're probably thinking. Like, oh, here we go. It's her and her Jordans. Please buy something new. Don't you like Yeezys? Don't you like, um, other sneakers? Listen, I like what I like. That's it. There's nothing wrong with Yeezys. I just, they're expensive and they always sell out. And I get better luck with Jays than I do with Yeezys. But if you want me to have Yeezys, you could give me a pair of Yeezys. I like the clay 350s. They're like a clay color and it's like, I don't know. Listen. Let's get into the kicks. We're gonna start with a Nike box. So these are a recent <laughs> gift. So I've wore these once. These were a gift sent from one of my loyal followers. I mentioned that I wanted these in my last sneaker haul and they surprised me with them. I only wore these one time in the summer with this little black dress and I was cute AF with my Cortez. Like, how dare you? These just look like fancy bowling shoes. They're so comfy. In summertime, even in the fall with a chunky sock. I'm, a, I'm the queen of chunky socks. This was so flipping cute, and now that I'm home, because I only left with like three pairs of sneakers. I went on my trip, and I literally only took three pairs of sneakers. Who the F am I? But the fact that I'm back, and I can actually see my kicks, and I got a whole bunch of new clothes. Like, I'm excited to like mix and match, but you can never go wrong with a Nike Cortez. They're just like a classic shoe. I appreciate you. You know who you are. Love you dearly. Love you down, sis. Love you down. Next. Let's move on to a Jordan. So y'all know I love me a good Jordan one and when i started my jordan one collection because now i got a cute little well, collection of jordan ones this is one of those that nobody really spoke about but i thought it was so unique and i was like nah i need these ones so there are women's i'm a seven in women's and women's sneakers for whatever reason always run a little bit bigger and it stresses out my entire butthole but whatever i got them so these are my ones but they're reflective and they have roses on them and i love these and i've never seen anybody wear these ever and i've probably worn these a small handful of times only because you know one foot is bigger than the other and one is like really big on me and i feel like i gotta wear like eight pairs of socks because my foot come out like when i walk my foot comes out of this shit, which is unacceptable these are good these are slept on i love these i need to wear these more often but i'm glad like now it's starting to get cold in new york city and i could get away with wearing certain kicks because in the summertime that's just not hitting the way it should hit in the summer uh -huh. these nikes are so flipping comfortable these are my run errand kick run errand run errand kicks so my bro richard surprised me with these because they were like ridiculously marked down on sale at Foot Locker, and we usually always like get kicks at the same time and i remember us being in the store and i'm like yo i like those and he was like i'm gonna get them for you and he just surprised me with them so shout out to you rutch i love you down bro but these are so fucking cute and i don't wear these as much as i should i probably wore these only twice that is disgraceful because they're really effing comfortable these are so fucking cute i'm gonna figure out a way to like start wearing these more often the plan is to wear them more often don't judge me. Don't. I could have a worse addiction. Ooh, these are a good one. I am 
going to insert a picture of me in these sneakers because damn it, I look good in that picture. So these are my satin snakeskin ones. I've probably worn these two times. Once for Casey's birthday, um, last, was it last year? Was it two years now? I have no concept of times, whatever. We went to brunch in Atlanta and I was looking a little piece of spicy with these ones. You'll see the fit, but I love these. But again, women's cuts always fit me a little bit bigger than my regular GS size five. Stress me out, but these shits are fire. I love these so much. And I got a nice red jacket too. Oh yeah, there's gonna be looks delivered. Delivered this fall season, because these are, these are literally dope as All right, what's the next box? Oh, okay. Same color scheme, my Carmines. I've probably worn these a lot of times because I was like, what the fuck was I doing? I got to clean them. It's probably not picking up dirty on camera, but I desperately need to wipe these down. Sixes look cute on my feet. I don't know. They grew on me because at one point I only had one pair of sixes and now I'm just, I'm a six chick. Love these. Oh, I thought somebody was calling my name outside. I'm like, I'm working. Love these down. They're so effing cute. These sold out so flipping fast. What I think about when I think about sixes is sweatpants. I don't know why, but sweatpants. Sweatpants me in a six and I'm good. But yeah, these shits are a different type of adorable. Next shoe, what are you? Oh! Ah! So these are also another sneaker that I've not worn as much as I should have. But I loved the colorway. This is another one that I think was kind of slept on. People weren't crazy about the two-tone yellow. But I feel like this made it unique. Casey and I both got these around the same time. And I wore them once in Atlanta with her. These are another pair that need to be wiped down. So, I mean, what the hell you be doing to your kicks? Where's the stuffing? Um, I gotta do better. I gotta fix these. They don't look bad, but they could look better. They're not to cement the standards, but I love these sneakers too. One's are my favorite silhouette. I think we all know that. There's no denying it. I love a good one. You can't go wrong with a one, a high top one. I loathe mids. The only mid that I ever liked was the Lola Bunnies. I'll insert a picture. Those were fire and I had them. And I dropped like oil or something on them so I had to get rid of them. But when I tell you those Lola, the Lolas, holy grail. The Lola Bunny mid ones, perfection. I could, ugh, just getting them again is gonna be a pain in the butthole. But those, yo, it's like motorcycle synth. Like I don't even know what movie's being filmed, what action film is being filmed. Moving on, cause I'm sweating. Okay, hold on, because I just opened the box. I made a video a few months back about all of the ones that I owned, like all the sneaker, all the Jordan ones that I had. And one of my loyal, loyal, loyal supporters wanted to get me a late birthday gift. And I was like, you know, you really don't... Sorry, I had to put on the pause. But I told him, I was like, you know, you really don't have to say, no, I want to surprise you, I want to surprise you. Let me tell you right now, I had my eye on these sneakers. And I was like, I'm going to get them. I just didn't pull the trigger. Do yo the fall is not ready. The fall is my favorite season. Literally, I love the fall, and I'm a spring baby, and I love the fall. These in the fall, you can't go wrong with a high. You can't go wrong with a one, and you can't go wrong with patent leather. This is like hood dominatrix shit, and I love it. Shout out to you, boo. You know who you are, and I love you. Next, anyone who knows me, like knows me personally, knows that I love leopard print, anything leopard print. I love leopard print, not cheetah spots, leopard print. Those are two different things. Google it if you don't believe me, but I love leopard print. And I also found a new obsession with Air Max 97s. So why not? When the two worlds combine, I haven't even worn these yet. They're still brand spanking new. And I honestly was afraid to back them out because they're almost like a suede material. And if these get messed up, I'm going to be pissed. I might back these out this fall. This for like an all neutral look and it has little pops of like this like peachy orangey situation here. Fire. Fucking fire, I tell you. Love that tacky shit. Another six. These are the, I think these are called the Milwaukee Bucks. I do love these sneakers very, very much and I like them because it had hints of green and gray and I like any combo of green and gray. Like there's some threes coming out, some cement threes with like hints of green in it. I really, really want those and I'm going to try to go for those just because I like black, green, and gray. I just feel like it's a, I like how those colors come together. My only beef with sixes with this type of material, and I've said it in past sneaker videos, is that they get dusty. 
Like my infrared sixes look dusty. It's just that material, like you really gotta stay on top of it and make sure that you wipe them down because they will get dusty. So I try not to wear these too much, but again, dark sneakers for the fall. These are five, you know what? Don't even talk to me right now. Right now I'm getting fed up, fed up with how excited I am. So if you remember in the beginning of the video, I mentioned while I was gone, I made sure to ask my sisters, my friends, even Sosa, like, yo, look out for me. There's sneakers that are gonna be released. I need to make sure that these sneakers are purchased. So when I came home, I had some sneakers waiting for me and this is one of them. The Bordeaux sixes. I was so on the fence at first because, you know, the original Bordeaux sevens are like a cult classic sneaker. I never had the Bordeaux sevens, but I love this in colorway so damn much this sneaker is screaming fall winter in new york in new york doing something new yorky like i love this so fucking much love this can't wait to wear it i did a lot of sixes this video did the sixes i'll do the ones carmine's bordeaux the bucks nah the ones one there were more ones in this video, but the ones always dominate these sneaker videos. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Now, you know I always do an honorable mention in my sneaker videos. So the honorable mention is not even a sneaker. It is a staple if you live in a cold city. So whether you're in Chicago, New York, Philly, C does Seattle get cold? Boston. What are the other ones that are like up here with us that get cold? I'm not sure about the other cities that get cold like New York, but if you're from the city, then you already know what I'm about to show you. It's not a sneaker, it's a boot. It's a staple. It's a construct. Or constructions, if you're talking about them plural, not singular. And let me say something right now. I've never done a day of construction in my life. Even though I'm Barbara the Builder, and I can fix some shit when I'm pressured to, if you don't have a construct, are you really even a New Yorker even? Like, are you even a New Yorker? And the crazy part is I've had these for two winters. I haven't worn them yet. But maybe I'll back them out this winter. These are so fucking fire. And I'm sorry, it has to be said. If you ever wore the high heel Timberland boots, don't ever speak to me in your life because that right there is just blasphemy. This is what you need. Don't let them segregate us women into thinking that we have to wear heels with everything. We could wear boots. We could stomp bitches out too. Who said we can't? This is cute as shit. I love a good construct. So there you have it, guys. 10 more sneakers with an honorable mention, sticking to what I do, and I still, at the rate that I'm dropping these videos and buying sneakers, I'm always gonna have one like every other month. I might start doing these quarterly. So this might be the last sneaker haul for 2021, and the next one might be in January. I might do one for like each season, my winter sneaker collection, or I might do one for every season, like every four months, just drop it because one, it is a pain, I've said it before, it's a pain in the ass climbing up there and getting these boxes down. But two, I like to mix in new cops with sneakers that I've already have and that I have a, you know, love for and I've worn. I hope that you guys enjoyed this installment. Let me know if you have any of these kicks. Let me know if my addiction is out of control. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this bullshit. Don't forget to follow me on all of my other socials. And until next time, my little sneaker fiends, because you just like me, this bruise on my titty is just ruining everything for me. You know what? You should like this video just because I've suffered an injury and you want to support me emotionally. If you care about me and you want me to heal properly, subscribe. And if you just want my bruise to go away, like it. And if you want both of those things, do both of those things. It made sense in my mind. But that's all for now, friends. Until next time. Ba, 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 ba. That was a hood rapper. All right.